Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I have the June Aluma Crate. So obviously the June Aluma Crate was a little bit delayed um, and I think they're sending out the July ones pretty soon. But for now we have the June Aluma Crate. So if you don't want to see what's inside then look away now because I'm going to open it again. <laughs> As always, I have already opened this because I'm impatient and I can't wait. But the theme for June was out of the woods. So I'm just going to get stuck in. So the first item we have is a, it's got Holly Black there. It's a licensed Holly Black product. And this is stunning artwork. This is from the darkest part of the forest which i absolutely adore and it's very underrated people don't really talk about it much um but look at the artwork on this it's just this little little hanging thing and i really like this next up we have this box which has this really nice bottle it's like a glass bottle kind of um but it has a quote um or rather it has a like bit of poetry from robert frost the woods are lovely dark and deep but i have promises to keep and miles to go before i sleep and miles to go before i sleep it's really cute it's just got trees and flowers and it's just a really cute little bottle i like this next up we have a little white pouch which is a we hunt the flame pin badge it's got this bow and arrow and it's got the huntress on it this is a really cute little wooden i like it when they're like the wooden ones it's a really nice effect then we have a wood mark and i absolutely love this so it says the wood makes monsters of us all ashley poston i believe this is from among the beasts and briars yes among the beasts and briars but i really like that it's got the the crown on the top and it's just a really nice wood mark next up we have the next puzzle so a few months back we got a cruel prince one um this is a lord of the rings puzzle so you just open it up it's got this and obviously the puzzle pieces um i believe these are 300 pieces these puzzles let me see if it says i I'm pretty sure the last one was. It doesn't say, but if I remember correctly, the last one that Illumicrate did was 300 pieces. So I imagine this one will be the same. Then the final item before the book is the monthly pin. So this is the pin. This is gorgeous. I really like this. Which then leads us on to the book. I just hit myself in the face with this <laughs> not editing that out um so we have a little bit of red <laughs> so this is the wolf and the woodsman by ava reed so first up we have the artwork with the author letter and then we have these absolutely stunning edges. I really like these, they're gorgeous. It is signed. And then, not only, I really love this. And the naked jacket says, will you tell me a story, wolf girl? And I really love this. I think it's really lovely, especially with the edges. And then the reverse dust jacket has this amazing artwork that is absolutely stunning i love that it's gorgeous okay so i'm going to read you the blurb in her forest veiled pagan village aviki is the only woman without power treated like an outcast due to her corrupted bloodline so when soldiers arrive from the holy order of woodsmen to claim a girl for the king's blood sacrifice aviki is betrayed by her fellow villagers and surrendered when monsters attack the woodsmen and their captive en route to the capital, they slaughter everyone but Aviki and the cold, one-eyed captain. But she soon learns he's no ordinary woodsman. He's Gaspar Barony, the disgraced prince whose cruelly zealous brother plans to seize the throne and instigate a reign of religious persecution and ethnic cleansing. 
With no one else to rely on, Aviki and the captain form a tenuous pact to stop his brother. As their mission takes them from the bitter northern tundra to the smog-choked capital, their mutual loathing slowly turns to affection. But trust can easily be betrayed, and as Aviki reconnects with her estranged father and discovers her own hidden magic, she and Gaspar must decide where their loyalties really lie. So I really like the sound of this, and I, I believe this so it's got a dark evocative and unforgettable fantasy debut steeped in hungarian history and jewish mythology and i'm really intrigued i don't think i've ever read anything to do with to do with hungarian history or jewish jewish mythology before so i'm really intrigued by this it sounds really good and i like the sound of a disgraced prince just saying that's my kind of thing <laughs> um so yeah i'm really looking forward to this and it's a gorgeous edition and i really love this so that was my june aluma crate unboxing my favorite item has to be the woodmark i did think it would be the holly black item but i'm really obsessed with this woodmark it is absolutely stunning and i love it um but i do like the other items in the in the box the bottle is practical i probably won't use it because i have so many bottles and i still only tend to just go for my my standard like pink one that holds like almost a liter of water um but it's still a really nice bottle and you never know i might use it but i hope you enjoyed the unboxing if you did hit the like button hit the subscribe button as always with my unboxings i will put all the names of all the artists and shops who contributed to the items in this box in the description box below and i will see you next time bye